So we all know about those tricky, lightning fast, intimidating downhill putts. You know the ones I'm talking about, where you just barely touch it, you feel like, and it goes six feet past the hole. The ones that are knee knockers. Well, today we're gonna give you some tips on how to manage and help with those. Let's get started. The problem with these fast, tricky downhill putts is I see a lot people make too big of a backstroke. So I've got one here that's pretty fast and downhill and we go back like this and that's too much backstroke. So we feel like we barely touch it, but we make too big of a backstroke and it goes four or five feet past the hole. The other thing that we do is we know that it's fast and it's downhill and we're a little bit intimidated and so we go like this. We make a big backstroke and then we try to control it or steer it. And what happens when we do that big backstroke is we baby it and leave it short. It doesn't get to the hole. See how the backswing was really big and I was trying to steer and got and I left a downhill putt short. Or we're focused so hard on steering the putt into the hole, trying to guide it or control it, that we push it or pull it. Let's talk about some tips to help with that. I see those mistakes a lot. So what you wanna do is you don't wanna baby the putt or try to control it. You wanna make a stroke and keep the putter face square. So here's what I do sometimes to practice those. I put a tee one and a half or so putter heads behind the ball and then another one one and a half or so in front of it and that doesn't look like that's a really tiny backstroke and not much of a through stroke so on the backstroke I don't want to go past this one following through forward of that one which means I've got to make a smooth stroke and keep the pace up to make that putt. And that works really well. Just enough pace to get it in the middle of the middle of the cup. If you struggle with controlling that, you can use the two tees there to help you with that. And that you can't hit that back tee peg. You can't go forward through that. What that does is keeps your pace smooth and firm through the stroke. People talk about decelerating, but it's really not decelerating. Sometimes, and I don't do this very often, but you can do it and it does help. If you've got a putt that's downhill fast and tricky like that, you want to take some of the speed out of it. Maybe you just can't make yourself make a short, smooth backstroke. You can play it off of the toe. Now I know immediately when I say, oh, hit it out of the toe, you're going to push it, you're going to twist the putter face offline, right or left. No, that's false. Listen, this isn't a driver. It isn't a long iron or even a short iron where the ball is compressing. There's no dwell time on the putter face. Research laboratory measurements with high speed cameras slowed down show that the putter, the ball is touching the putter face such a short period of time that if you're square at impact and the ball twists it right or left, that does not affect the line of the putter because the ball doesn't stay on the putter. By the time the putter face twists, the ball's already gone. All that hitting it on the heel or toe does is affects the speed. In fact, I know there's a putter company out there that says they have these magical grooves. And if you hit it on the toe or the heel, those magic grooves gear affect the ball into the hole. Yeah, I'm going to call BS on that. Does it work that way? That defies the laws of physics. It's not possible. The grooves on the putter face don't grab the ball and put spin on it and make it go where you didn't hit it. The square putter face is what makes the ball go right or left or in between. So now back to what we were talking about. I'm going to hit this one out of the toe on purpose. I don't change the line or my aim or my stroke. Just going to strike the ball with the toe of the putter to take some of the speed out. I just line up and hit it a little bit out of the toe. And I missed it 
but the distance was right. That was an alignment aiming thing on my part. One other thing on these short, fast breaking downhill putts, you've got to have a mindset of, I'm not going to watch the ball roll. I'm going to keep my eyes on where the ball was and hear the sound. Because what happens is we start trying to guide it and we're afraid of it and we're doing this kind of action and misses the putt. So let's do that one again and I'm going to hit it out of the toe a little bit to slow it down. But notice my eyes and my face. So watch my eyes and my face. The ball will almost be to the hole on this one. This is about seven feet. The ball will almost be to the hole before I look up and track it. If the putt's five feet or less, I do not see it go in. I hear the sound. Perfect. So one of the things, if you're doing this drill with the tees or you're trying to shorten up and not make such a big stroke on these fast downhill putts, you absolutely have to practice that. Okay. You've got to practice it because you think, oh, I'm making such a small stroke, I've got to really pop it. And you get jabby or stabby, you get really jabby or stabby like this. <laughs> How about that? So you're practicing this really short stroke and keeping the speed up without being stabby or jabby. So again, it's a smooth stroke, keeping the pace up, just like you're supposed to do when you're getting on the interstate highway, they have the merging lane. You get up to speed and then you can move over. There's a flow. Same thing with your putter. It's not big backstroke and then whack it. It's not a short stroke and jab, it's smooth. It's an actual stroke, not trying to push or steer the ball into the hole. Try these, practice them, and when you have one of those short, tricky, intimidating, lightning fast downhill putts. Try these tips. You'll make more and you'll certainly, even if you don't hit the right line and make it, you won't be six, eight feet past. You'll be close enough that you've got a simple, easy tap in second putt. Try those. I would appreciate your comments, your suggestions. And speaking of short putts, if you hadn't already taken the tap, to, tap in on that subscribe button, do that now and then enjoy these other two videos that we're going to put on the screen. And here's to you making more putts.